Hello, this lesson is about note values. You're going to need pencil, paper, and an eraser. Together, we're going to go through a series of notes. We're going to break them down, figure out how to count them. And in the future, you're going to have this knowledge that's so fundamental and important to reading. Without this information, you're going to be lost in the forest. So it's a good thing we're here together today. Let's start out with the big note and the beginning of this whole series of notes, which starts with the whole note. To draw the whole note, all you have to do is just draw a circle. Okay, that circle is represented by the number one. The corresponding rest, you need a staff. In order to draw a staff, you need five lines, horizontal lines, one, two, three, four, five, and what you need to do is count one, two, three spaces up, and on that fourth line, you're going to hang the rest from the fourth line. Okay? Okay. All this is is multiplication by two. So, two times one is two, and the number two represents two half notes. And the half notes look like that. So, when you go to draw, the rest, again, you have to draw a staff. One, two, three, four, five lines. You're counting three spaces up, just like before. The difference is you're going to put the rest, let it sit on the third line. So for the half note rest, sits on the third line. For the whole note rest, it hangs from the fourth line. Okay? So you're always dealing with the third space. It's the lines that you have to remember hang from the fourth line, sit on the third line. There you go. That's clear, hopefully. Okay, two times two is four. So this number four represents the quarter note. What this means is that you need four quarter notes to equal the whole note. That also means that two quarter notes is equal to a half note. And these two quarter notes is equal to the half note. And the way you draw the quarter note rest is something like this, okay? After the quarter note, if you multiply times two, you're going to get an eight. This number eight represents the eighth note. You're going to need eight eighth notes to equal this whole note. So you draw one, two, three, four, and you just draw a line like this to bar them together. Or you can bar two at a time like this together, two eighth notes. Okay, or you can also do um, one, I'll just put it over here, which just is one flag, okay? The corresponding rest looks like this. It kind of looks like a seven with a squiggly line and a little curvy line. Okay, now two times eight is 16. And this means that there are 16 16th notes to equal that whole note. So again, you're going to draw 16th notes like this. You're going to, to bar them, you have to put two lines like this, okay? Here you had one, here you have two, like this, okay? And you have 16. You could do two together like this, or you can do individual ones, which would look like this. That would have two flags, okay? And the 16th note rest would look like this. So now you have two flags on that. Looks very similar to the 8th note, but you have two. Just like you have one bar, now you have two bars. Okay, let's back up for a minute. Obviously, if you were going to count this, that whole note would land on one. So it would be one, two, three, four. Okay, and you would also give this the one and also two, and this would be three and four, so it lands on the one and the three. Now this is what I call one part counting. So one, two, three, four. All right, each quarter note gets a count. In the case of the eighth note, you're gonna switch over to two part counting. What that means is that there's two parts to each count. One and, two and, three and, four and, okay? 
And now with the 16th note, you're going to switch into four part counting. And what that means is you're going one E and the, uh, two E and the, uh, all the way up to four. So one E and a. Uh. And each note gets an assigned number or letter. So two E and a. Uh. Three E and a. Uh. Four E and a. Uh. Okay. So I'm running out of room, and so now I'm going to erase partial of what I have here. And by now, I'm sure you're thinking 16 times 2 is 32. So at this point, we need 32 30 second notes. 32 30 second notes, okay? So the 30 second note is. Instead of having two lines going across, now you have one, two, three lines. Every time you multiply, you keep adding a line. Same thing with the rest. With the rest, you continue to add another flag. So one, two, three. Uh, I'll just one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, two, three, okay. Uh, I'm not going to do all of them, but just to give you the idea, for, for the number 1, you have 2 30 seconds right here. Okay, for the E of the 16th note, you have 2 30 seconds. For the AND of the 16th note, you have 2 30 seconds. And for the A, uh, you have 2 30 seconds. And then you go to 2 E and uh, and then 3, E, and it continues on, etc. Okay? Now, 2 times 32 is 64. The 64th note looks like this. You need 64, 64th notes to complete the value of the whole note. Instead of three lines going across, now you have four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and I'm just going to do this partial. Um, you go ahead and write it out all out, and again, if you need to stop the video, do that. Okay, the corresponding rest has also one, two, three, four, okay? Lines going across. So, the way you count this, for each count of the 30-second note, here's one. Okay, you need two 64ths for one. Now you're here, and you need two more. Okay, now you're at E. So there's two for the E, and two more, and you're at and, and then uh, and so on and so forth. So in case you're wondering, the count would be for the 16th note. One E and the two E and the three E and the four, all the way. 16. For the 32nd, you'd be playing two strokes for each count. One E and a, uh, two E and a. Uh. For the 64th note, you're playing four strokes for each count. One E and a, uh, two E and, and etc. Okay, two times 64 is 128. All right, you need 128 notes to complete the value of that one whole note that we started with. And once again, instead of having four lines across, you're going to have five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, same thing with the rest. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so it does get messy as you continue on. As these numbers continue to get bigger, these note values become smaller. So again, if you have one here, you're going to need eight for, for the count because there's two for each one of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then you're at E. Okay, so this is the idea that you're going to use every time you see a note you're going to be able to figure out the note value, and you know now how to count these notes. Okay, as ridiculous as this is, 
we can continue on from 128. And 128 times 2 would be 256. And the 256 note would have six lines, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And you're getting the idea that now you have a rest that has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 flags. OK. And again, instead of having eight 128 notes for each of the counts, now it's going to double. Now it's going to be 16 256 for each of the counts in the four-part counting. OK, just for crazy making, 2 times 256 is 512. So again, you're going to have another, um, you're going to add another line. So let's just pretend I have a space here and you can see that. You're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And again, the rest would have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. OK, can you imagine? All right, that would be really hard to decipher. But now you have a full idea of the concept. You're multiplying times 2. That's all you're doing. OK, and you're applying one part, two part, and four part counting to these notes. So please check out your PDFs. Work on your worksheet so that you can really completely hone in on this concept and have it in your pocket forever. And so until the next time, please be well and drum on.